Welcome to a bit of a crazy video. <laughs> you might think it's fun. So my dog is a mini poodle Bichon mix, which is really nice for those with allergies, but a bit of a hassle because they do have to be groomed. They do not shed. So I've been doing this for a few years. I just take clippers to her. Sometimes I try to make it a little more cute, but <laughs> this time we're doing the old shave down for the summer. And um, I made sure that her hair got decently long and was nicely brushed, recently bathed, and I'm just trimming her up to use her fur. <laughs> so this is something that I had thought about with a previous dog, and I kind of wish I had, but just make sure you're avoiding things like the eyes, the mouth, that might be stained. You're, you just want the nice plain fur, and then obviously mm, the hair down there. <laughs> so you can see this is kind of the, the muddy hairs, we'll call it, um, and that's the nice clean hair. So some of it just needs to go in the trash. But you're going to keep the nice pretty stuff. And I have these felting needles all um, linked down to good supplies down in the comments, or not in the comments, in the description. But this is a barbed needle specifically for needle felting. So what you do is you stab many, many, many times. <laughs> um, of course, I sped this up for you because it took quite a while, and I've done this with um, sheep's felt before. That's not the right word. With wool, yes, words. <laughs> I've done it with wool before, and it's kind of fun. Uh, it's kind of therapeutic, I guess. Throw on a movie and just create something out of it. And you just stab it a whole bunch of times because it has that barbed side to it the different sides, then it just pulls it and intertwines the fibers. Now I will say that working with her fur is a lot more difficult than if it were wool, partially because it's smoother, I think also because it's not as long, and um, it just doesn't grab itself as easily. But I decided to make a heart, nice simple shape, and I found that the secret really to get it going is to get a really good wad kind of rolled up. Now if you actually buy a whole kit of this, you can actually use a tool that you put the needles into and then there's a little pad underneath so you're not just stabbing into a table. It's maybe a little safer, a little more comfortable, <laughs> but I'm just working with the needles by themselves. I've done it before. I've actually made an entire like stuffed animal dinosaur, probably half the size of my dog before, um, out of wool with needle felting. I mean, it's not going to be something cute and cuddly that you're going to um, have in bed for a little kid, but it's just a fun kind of showpiece. So anyway, I'm not going to jabber the whole time. I'm going to let you see with some beautiful royalty-free music <laughs> as it unfolds, but I will just say um, you got to be careful. I only stabbed myself once. No blood was drawn. And I'm just working my best to make things even and to meld together the different pieces. So this is pretty much what it looks like. I did a little bit more refining in the end, but it's cute because you can actually see like the little curl of her hair, which gives it that character. I wish her fur were more bright white because she is kind of that color that looks a little muddy, like she's constantly dirty, even though she's not. That's just 
a little bit of a tan poodle mixed with the white of the Bichon. But anyway, this is perfect for maybe if you've lost an animal, a little memento, and you know, if you just think it's fun. So let me know what you think. I would love to hear your comments. This is going to be a series. I have a lot more fur and a lot of fun ideas in mind. So make sure to subscribe so you will see those. Get, um, ring the bell for notifications. And I'd love for you to share with someone who you think would love a little memento with her pup.